Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we're continuing the seasonal beers, the holiday beers, with a look at a beer from Hardingwood Park Craft Brewery out of Richmond, Virginia. This is their gingerbread stout, coming in at 9.2% alcohol by volume. It's an imperial milk stout brewed with locally grown baby ginger and locally sourced honey. So they keep the Richmond in the bottle, basically. This one it comes highly, highly regarded from a lot of you guys. I get a lot of emails about this one. Um, the Hardingwood Park Brewery is a very new brewery. They've been out for a couple around for a couple years now they really distribute locally only but this is one of those beers that kind of put them on the radar it's one of the beers to really kind of start doing the whole gingerbread stout thing and I hear they do it really well I gotta give a big thanks to Jeff for hooking me up with this one he wanted me to review it so I'm definitely going to do that now so let me get into a glass that you guys know it smells tastes and give you the final verdict on the gingerbread stout all right guys the aroma on the gingerbread stout yeah, cinnamon, ginger, a little bit of nutmeg, sweet bready malts, chocolate, a slight cocoa uh, sweetness in there, a little bit of milk chocolate, just a big decadent spicy smelling beer, awesome. All right, got some of the taste on the gingerbread stout. Cheers. Oh, wow. Right at the front of the tongue, you're immediately hit with that ginger, a little bit of a spiciness, like a nutmeg, cinnamon type of spiciness. Middle of the mouth, lots of sweetness, but not cloyingly so. Definitely getting that spicy ginger characteristic, a little bit of that honey sweetness in there, milk chocolate, a slight kind of coffee, dark chocolate bitterness in there as well. I gotta tell you though, the body on this thing is amazing. It's the creamiest milk stout I've ever had. Just coats the mouth with this big chocolatey creaminess. Probably a ton of lactose went into this one to kind of create that body. Sweet aftertaste. In the aftertaste, I'm getting more of that ginger, more of the sweet honey, more of that milk chocolate kind of creaminess in there. Just kind of all blending together to make a, a sweet, spicy, gingerbread cookie beer. I mean, it tastes exactly like that. It's just, you know, the embodiment of what you think a gingerbread cookie should be in a beer without going too, you know, cloyingly sweet or fake tasting. It's just a very, very well thought out, well crafted beer. Awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Hardywood Gingerbread Stout, and I gotta give a huge thanks again to Jeff for hooking me up with this one. Guys, this one is getting an A, and I can easily say this has been the favorite winter beer of this year, if not in the last couple years by far. You know, it could have been gimmicky. It could have been a one-hit wonder kind of beer, but it's not. It's got a great base Imperial Stout, huge, huge creamy body on this one. Then they're adding in those really high-quality high quality adjuncts, the locally sourced honey and ginger just really work. It all comes together. It's a hugely complex beer, lots of flavor to it, lots of spicy sweetness, and it all works together. It doesn't get overwhelming or gimmicky at all. It just works. It's, again, a very well thought out, awesomely well-crafted beer, and my hat off to them. I hope to get to try more of their stuff soon. So definitely trade or pick this one up if you're local. It is an awesome beer. So with that said, getting an A from me. And remember, folks, life's too short. Drink missing beers. Cheers.